To create this design, you need to add a cylinder with 36 watts. Then move the cylinder along the Z axis. Then go to the read mode, select the stop words and move them along the Z axis. Then control B, add bevel on it, add one segment bevel. Then select the spaces and then extrude along the normal. Give the proper offset and turn on the offset even. Then select this H and move it along the Z axis and move it along the Y axis. Then add one loop cut here. Select this H and move it along the Z axis. Move it along the Y axis in this way. Then select this H, snap 3D cursor to it. Select this faces, change transform pivot point to 3D cursor and then SZ give the value 0 to make it red. Then select this H loop and control B add bevel on it. Add a 2 segment bevel and shape factor should be 0.5. Then select this edge loop, deselect this edges and control the add bevel on it. Shape factor should be 1. Select this words and press J to connect them. And then dissolve this edges. Select this bottom face. Use the insert operation. Then select this top face and right click breach faces. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry. Now we have got this basic form. Then select the sharper edges. And then control B add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel, shift factor should be 1. Select these words and merge at last. Dissolve these edges. Select these words and press J to connect them. And then dissolve these edges. Select these words and press J to connect them. And then select this words and press J to connect them. Dissolve this edges. Select this edge loop and dissolve it. Select this edge and control X to dissolve it. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry. And then dissolve this edge loops. Then add one loop cut here. And add one loop cut here. Add one loop cut here. Then hit the control 2 and add the sub D modifier. And shade smooth it. Go to the top view. Select this face loop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Select this face loop and delete it. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry. Turn on the extreme mode. Select this faces and press P to make a separate object. Select this object and H to hide it. Select this object, go to the edit mode, select everything. Change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor and shift T to duplicate it and rotate it into 120 degree angle. And then select everything, press M and merge by distance, double words will get merged. You can add one loop cut here, like this. Then select this bottom each loop and shift it to duplicate it. And press P to make a separate object. Select that edge loop, select everything, press F to fill the gap and then E to extrude it. Dissolve this edges, select everything, press Alt M and recalculate the normal. Select this space, move it along the Z axis. Ctrl A apply the scale and Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Select this top face loop, use the insert operation and then delete that face. Select this edge loop and go to the face grid fill. Turn on the simple blending and adjust the span and adjust the offset. And in this way you can get this kind of design. You can see the design and you can see the topology. You can modify this design as per your requirement. There are two objects. The main part is the outer part and it is little difficult to create but with this method easily you can create. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.